Good evening, America. I'm proud to be here in cold Washington, D.C. tonight. I want to offer this small prayer for our country. This is land of hope and dreams. Grab your ticket and your suitcase. Thunder's rolling down this track. You don't know where you're going now. But you know you won't be back, darling, if you're weary. Lay your head upon my chest. We'll take what we can carry. Yeah, and we'll leave the rest. Well, big wheels roll through fields where sunlight streams. Oh, meet me in a land of hope and dreams. Yeah, well, I will provide for you. Oh, and I'll stand by your side. You'll need a good companion now. This part of the ride Yeah, leave behind your sorrows Let's let this day be the last Well, tomorrow there'll be sunshine Sunshine And all this darkness past Well, big wheels roll through fields where sunlight streams Oh, meet me in a land of hope and dreams Well, this train carries saints and sinners This train carries losers and winners This train Carries whores and gamblers, this train carries lost souls. I said this train, dreams will not be thwarted. This train, faith will be rewarded on this train. Hear the steel wheels singing, this train, bells of freedom ringing. Big wheels roll through fields where sunlight streams. Oh, meet me in a land of hope and dreams. Meet me in a land of hope and Please welcome our host, Tom Hanks. Bruce Springsteen's Land of Hope and Dreams kicks off tonight's Celebrating America on this day, which saw the inauguration of our 46th President, Joseph R. Biden, Jr. And at the Lincoln Memorial on the National Mall in our nation's secured capital city. In the last few weeks, in the last few years, We've witnessed deep divisions and a troubling rancor in our land. But tonight, we ponder the United States of America, the practice of our democracy, the foundations of our republic, the integrity of our constitution, the hope and dreams we all share for a more perfect union. To sum a presidential inauguration is a tradition an act that marks the commitment of a new four-year term. Yet in truth, Inauguration Day is about much more than the swearing in of our next national leaders. This day is about witnessing 
the permanence of our American ideal. Every four years, we hear the words that will empower us all on the journey ahead, a message that can unite us as we begin a new passage from where we are to where we can be, a trek to a common goal, to the promise of our promised land. The keynote of this day is the presidential inaugural address. The new president, Republican, Democrat, lays out a vision for the nation. If the words ring out, it is not only due to the power of the oratory, it is because the dream of America has no limits and resonates well beyond any single day. Tonight we share memorable passages from the inaugural remarks of four of our past presidents. Each spoke to a specific moment in our history. FDR rallied us in the Great Depression. JFK inspired a new generation to serve. Ronald Reagan spoke of the peaceful transition of power for a shining city on a hill. And Abraham Lincoln sought to unite us after a war that tore us apart. With malice toward none, with charity for all, with firmness in the right, as God gives us to see the right, let us strive on to finish the work we are in, to bind up the nation's wounds, to care for him who shall have borne the battle and for his widow and his orphan, to do all which may achieve and cherish a just and lasting peace among ourselves and with all nations. This great nation will endure as it has endured, will revive and will prosper. So first of all, let me assert my firm belief that the only thing that we have to fear is fear itself. In the long history of the world, only a few generations have been granted the role of defending freedom in its hour of maximum danger. I do not shrink from this responsibility. I welcome it. I do not believe that any of us will exchange places with any other people or any other generation. The energy, the faith, the devotion which we bring to this endeavor will light our country and all who serve it. And the glow from that fire can truly light the world. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. To a few of us here today, this is a solemn and most momentous occasion. And yet in the history of our nation, it is a commonplace occurrence. The orderly transfer of authority as called for in the Constitution routinely takes place as it has for almost two centuries. And few of us stop to think how unique we really are. In the eyes of many in the world, this every four year ceremony we accept as normal is nothing less than a miracle. We'll celebrate America with more performances and tributes to the men and women across the country who have provided strength and kept us going through hardships and troubled times. Ahead, President Biden speaks to the nation. Coming up, more great music, and we recognize outstanding service by our citizens on Celebrating America. I'm Eva Longoria. Over the last three days, Americans have honored the start of this new chapter by reaffirming our commitment to some of our nation's highest ideals, community, empathy, and democracy. It began with our National Day of Service on Monday, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, when Americans across the country volunteered in their neighborhoods, providing COVID-19 relief and addressing issues highlighted by the pandemic in pursuit of the economic and social justice that Dr. King envisioned in his beloved community. Yesterday, the Presidential Inaugural Committee hosted a ceremony at the Lincoln Memorial Reflecting Pool to honor those who have died during the pandemic. It was a powerful moment to remember our loved ones and renew our commitment to work together to end the pandemic 
and rebuild our nation. And earlier today, we took part in some of the most important moments in the continuing evolution of our democracy, from the swearing-in ceremony, to the president's speech, to the parade across America, and the procession to the White House. We've been reminded that it's our responsibility as citizens to protect and build a more inclusive democracy every day. I, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. Office of President of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. Thank President. You. This land is your land. The world is watching. So this here's my message to those beyond our borders. Land. America has been From tested, California and we've come out stronger for it. To the New York Island. I pledge allegiance. To the flag to the of the United States of America. That I will well and faithfully discharge the, the duties of the office on which I am about to enter. The duties of the office upon which I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. All right. Show the way, the way of unity. We can see each other not as adversaries, but as neighbors. We can treat each other with dignity and respect. We can join forces, stop the shouting, and lower the temperature. This is our historic moment of crisis and challenge. And unity is the path forward. mercy with might and might with right, then love becomes our legacy and change our children's birthright. Welcome back to Celebrating America. Here are some exceptional Americans who have stepped up. They are the indispensable folks who provide the daily services we too often take for granted. I think the essential workers carried the rest of us on their shoulders through these many months. The grocery store clerks, the delivery clerks, the drivers, the folks on the assembly line, the meat packers, too often overlooked. They've given the best to their country when we need them the most. That's the America we know. That's who we are. Good evening. I'm Anthony Gaskin in the Halsley neighborhood just outside of Richmond, Virginia. And I deliver packages to the people who live here. And tonight I'm honored to represent the many frontline workers across our nation who keep America going. It's not only a job for us, but we care about the people who live here and know that they're concerned for us and our safety. And now I have a special delivery for you. From Miami, John Bon Jovi. Here comes the sun, and I say, 
Americans. I'm United States Marine Corps Sergeant Brennan Lombardo, and I'm an Aviation Operations Specialist stationed at Marine Corps Air Station, Ibukuni, Japan. Over here, we're focused on protecting and defending our regional allies, partners, and the United States of America. Our joint forces are committed to preserving security, stability, and freedom, no matter what challenges we face. Though we're a station more than 6,000 miles away in the Asia Pacific, we're truly honored to celebrate this ceremony with you. Congratulations to our new Commander-in-Chief, Semper Fidelis. Ura. Coming up, more fantastic performances and tributes to our everyday heroes on Celebrating America. Good evening, everybody. And now for some good news. Every night, all these people have been cheering on the healthcare workers during their shift change. This is my quest a small army of citizens making masks. New York's finest cheering on out-of-state health care workers. The TikTok doc spreading positivity during a pandemic. Some are using these dark days to create some bright bulb ideas. COVID-19 has tapped a creative nerve that many of us never even knew we had. The dance move flossing. Very beautiful what you both are doing. During a crisis, you know, cocktail hour can be almost any hour. <laughs> Drive-by celebrations have become quite popular during these times. DJ Kopech says he raised $1 million for the Baltimore Child Abuse Center. A leading artist offers us songs of comfort. This is just something that I can do. We have been tested these last 10 months as individuals, families, and communities. But 
in the midst of devastation and loss, there were moments when a flickering light pointed us toward a brighter future. You brought us comfort, you sustained us, and so that light grew and became a bright beam in the universe. This is for all of you who found new ways for us to smile together. Now it is my honor to introduce the President of the United States, Joseph R. Biden, Jr. participants of tonight's event. It's humbling to stand here in this place in front of these sacred words, humbling out of respect to President Lincoln and the office we now share, and humbling because of you, the American people. As I said earlier today, we have learned again that democracy is precious. And because of you, democracy has prevailed. That's why Jill and I, Kamala and Doug, wanted to make sure our inauguration was not about us, but about you, the American people. This is a great nation. We're a good people. And to overcome the challenges in front of us requires the most elusive of all things in a democracy, unity. It requires us to come together in common love that defines us as Americans. Opportunity, liberty, dignity, and respect. And to unite against common foes, hate, violence, disease, and hopelessness. America's story depends not on any one of us, not on some of us, but on all of us, on we the people. That's the task before us, the only way we'll get through the darkness around us. There are moments in our history when more is asked of us as Americans. We saw that in the Civil War. We saw that with Dr. King dreaming from these steps across the mall. We are in one of those moments now, the pandemic, economic crisis, racial injustice, the climate crisis, and threats to our very democracy. And the question is, 
Are we up to it? Will we meet the moment like our forebears have? I believe we must, and I believe we will. You, the American people, are the reason why. I've never been more optimistic about America than I am this very day. There isn't anything we can't do if we do it together. And that's what you'll see tonight. Stories of ordinary Americans who do extraordinary things. That's how we'll celebrate America and respect and represent America in our time in office. America, America built a, of decency. It's built of decency and dignity, of love and healing, of greatness and goodness, of possibilities. This is a story that guides us, inspires us, and unites us today and always. So thank you for this honor. I will give my all to you. May God bless America, and may God protect our troops. Well, thank you, Mr. President. Throughout tonight, we're giving special thanks to Americans who keep our nation moving forward despite all obstacles. They are our friends, and they are our neighbors. They keep us from going hungry. They educate our children and make sacrifices, both personal and professional, to help us all hang on for another meal, another day, until next month. We could not cope without them. By their example, they encouraged many others to join them in performing acts of kindness and decency and the easing of shared burdens. With love and understanding, and with small acts of kindness, you show up for each other in big ways and small ones, again and again. It's what so many of you are doing right now for your loved ones, for complete strangers, for your communities. I've given 138 care packages to senior citizens. They mean more to us than anything else. Hi. My name is Kavanaugh Bell, and I spread positivity to inspire others to change the world. Because the pandemic left so many in need, I decided to make care packs to help elderly people in my community. And now I'm able to gather supplies to give to families across the country. Thanks to the people who pitch in every day to help. That's why love wins. And I am so excited to introduce the amazing song, Better Days. From Memphis, here is Aunt Clemens and Justin Timberlake. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Keep your eyes on the road ahead But if you're feeling lost in the night It's okay to cry Just as long as you hold your head Cause we're on our way to better Better's ahead Better's ahead It gets worse for it gets better But better Slept on, let down, faith gone Waited for too long for something to lean on You feel weak, just be strong Deep breath, stay calm If you just press on, press on, press on You gon' see there's a light at the end of the tunnel Keep your eyes on the road
days are coming. Better days, better days. Better days are coming. I know you feel left out, slept on, keep going. Keep going, shine bright, don't dim yours for no one. Keep going higher and higher and higher and higher. It gets, it gets, it gets. Better days, better days. Come in, better days, better days. More musical tributes from across the nation are coming up when Celebrating America returns. Tonight, we honor our nation. We honor the American people's ability and desire to come together during difficult times, to emerge even stronger than before. We wanted to showcase the diversity and talent of our creative community. So to celebrate the colors and that diversity and the beauty in our lives, let's head to the Austin city limits. Performing colors, this is Black Pumas. Hello, we're the Black Pumas from Austin, Texas. Congratulations to President Biden and Vice President Harris on this historic win. We hope you enjoy the music. I woke up to the morning sky first Baby blue just like way be first When I get up off this ground I shake leaves back down To the brown, 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 brown Till I'm clean And I walk out, be shaded by the trees, by a meadow of green, for about a mile. I'm headed to town, town, town in style. With all my faded colors, right on. All my faded colors, yes, ma'am. My sisters and my brothers See you like me brother One of my favorite colors So quit play to me I quit play for me I quit play to see you my favorite colors Colors My sisters and my brothers See you like me Where the baby blues birds fly, she can fly again. In gray clouds, a white walls, a blue skies, we gon' fly, feel alright. Black boomers, let them know what it feels to feel alright. 
Now we gon' Welcome back, America, to your celebration. We'll continue to recognize everyday heroes and focus on our nation's educators. We have asked much of them over the last year and they've overcome seemingly insurmountable challenges. So let's do them honor, all of them, as we look at some educators, educator, educators from coast to coast, including one kindergarten teacher whose enthusiastic remote lessons became a viral sensation and taught us all a little something. This whole country owes teachers like you a debt of gratitude. You made an enormous sacrifice and you show so much creativity. Everything that will be possible for our country tomorrow is going to be in large part thanks to what you do today. The kids give me the energy. I feed right off of them, seeing their smiles and their laughter. I do it for them. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mackenzie Adams in Seattle, Washington. Like many educators, my passion is engaging young minds, whether in the classroom or through a computer screen. I happen to go viral because of it. It's been a difficult year for our students, and I am so proud of all the teachers, parents, and students across the country who have adapted and made the best out of a tough time. So, for all my fellow teachers, for all of my kiddos at Glenwood Elementary School, and for all of you watching at home, here's Seattle's own Foo Fighters. Mackenzie Adams reminds me of another outstanding teacher who holds a very special place in my heart, my mother, Virginia, who was a public school teacher for 35 years. Like Mackenzie and Dr. Jill Biden, she was also a mentor to her students, remembered long after their graduation. This year, our teachers were faced with unprecedented challenges, but through dedication and creativity, they faced those challenges head on. So this next song is for Mackenzie and all of our unshakable teachers that continue to enlighten our nation's kids every day. This is called Times Like These. I'm a brand new 
smiles upon tonight More music, plus the Vice President Kamala Harris, next on Celebrating America. I'm Kerry Washington. This day has been a long time coming. Groundbreaking women have fought for their dreams and carved the path, and now Kamala Harris is the first Black and South Asian woman Vice President of these United States. She is the first, but she will not be the last. The future for girls everywhere is limitless. To celebrate this historic day, some extraordinary Broadway performers have come together to provide inspiration. Five hundred twenty-five thousand six hundred minutes. Twenty-five thousand moments so dear. Five hundred twenty-five thousand six hundred minutes. How do you measure? Measure a year in daylights, in sunsets, in midnights, in cups of coffee, in inches, in miles, in ladder and strife. In A year in the life How about love? How about love? How about love? Measuring love Seasons of love Seasons of love In 
and truths that she learned, or in times that he cried, in the bridges he burned, or the way that she died. It's time now. Celebrating America, welcome back. Hunger continues to be a heartbreaking reality in our nation. During this pandemic, the number of families who go hungry has skyrocketed. Once again, there are heroes all over America who saw the needs and then rose to the challenges to help their neighbors. Maybe they even helped you. Ending hunger and malnutrition at home and around the world is uh, consequential. If we do nothing today, food insecurity will loom as an even larger and bigger threat tomorrow. You're fostering a world that is uh, more just and peaceful. Our Lemonade Stand fundraiser, the Little Johns, they give food to families who have food insecurity. My name is Jose Andres. I am a chef who believes that food is not just a luxury for the lucky few. It's a basic human right to live free from hunger. But today, we have a hunger crisis in America. One in four of our neighbors is going hungry. As an immigrant and a proud American citizen, I know how Americans respond to a crisis. We step up through food banks, churches, and organizations like mine, Wall Central Kitchen, working with over 2,500 restaurants to prepare more than 35 million meals through this pandemic. Food is the fastest way to rebuild our sense of community. We can put people back to work preparing it, and we can put lives back together by fighting hunger. We need everyone to join this fight. We need longer tables, not higher walls. And we need more Americans like eight-year-old Morgan March McGlone from Belleville, Wisconsin, who set out to make America a better place by helping to feed people she's never met. Thank you, Chef Andres. When I learned that kids who used to get meals at school were going hungry because of COVID, I wanted to open a lemonade stand to raise money to help. But because of social distancing, that couldn't work. So I opened an online lemonade stand. We raised over $52,000, which means I have to make a lot of lemonade coupons. I'm happy to be one of the many Americans helping others. And now back to Tom Hanks. Well, thanks, Morgan. I want to be just like you. President Biden has often turned to the words of Irish poets for solace and encouragement. In the pantheon of his favorite poets, Seamus Haney stands above all others. The president has frequently quoted one poem of his for its particular relevance, inspiring him to declare that this is our moment to make hope and history rhyme. So now, to recite it at the United Palace Theater in his Washington Heights neighborhood of New York City, here's Lynn manuel Miranda. The Cure of Troy by Seamus Heaney. Human beings suffer. They torture one another. They get hurt and get hard. No poem or play or song can fully right a wrong inflicted and endured. 
History says don't hope on the side of the grave. But then, once in a lifetime, the longed-for tidal wave of justice can rise up and hope and history rhyme. So hope for a great sea change on the far side of revenge. Believe that a further shore is reachable from here. Believe in miracles and cures and healing wells. Call miracles self-healing, the utter self-revealing double take of feeling. If there's fire on the mountain and lightning and storm and a God speaks from the sky, that means someone is hearing the outcry and the birth cry of new life at its term. It means once, once in, in a lifetime, lifetime that justice, justice can, can rise up and hope and history rhyme. Good evening, America. I'm NASA astronaut Kate Rubens, along with the American members of our Expedition 64 crew aboard the International Space Station. We're 200 miles above Earth and traveling at 17,500 miles per hour around its orbit. We're up here working with our international partners to find new scientific breakthroughs, from improved vaccines to safer drinking water to help people all over the world. Just as we're celebrating two decades of global cooperation in space, it's truly an honor for us to celebrate America today as we unite for this historic inaugural tradition that spans more than two centuries. Coming up, our friends and neighbors across the country join the finale of Celebrating America. Last night, a breathtaking moment of national unity honored the over 400,000 lives lost to COVID-19. Thousands of people in cities and small towns participated, from San Carlos Apache Reservation to Sally, South Carolina, from One World Trade Center to Wrigley Field. Buildings and landmarks were illuminated, church bells rang, and in Washington, D.C., Cardinal Wilton Daniel Gregory offered a blessing. And 400 glowing lights surrounding the Lincoln Memorial Reflecting Pool sparked a nationwide flame. This National Memorial to Lives Lost featured Lori Marie Key, a Detroit nurse whose voice encouraged her exhausted colleagues, and a performance by Yolanda Adams. Amazing we pray for those who have died and the families and loved ones that they left behind. We gather tonight a nation in mourning to pay tribute to the lives we have lost. Though we may be physically separated, we, the American people, are united in spirit. And my abiding hope, my abiding prayer, is that we emerge from this ordeal with a new wisdom. And I mean this from the bottom of my heart. If there are any angels in heaven, they're all nurses. We know from our family experience what you do, the courage, and the pain you absorb for others. So thank you. To heal, we must remember. It's important to do that as a nation. Let us shine the lights in the darkness along the sacred pool of reflection, remember all whom we lost. I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do you? It goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall and the major lift. The baffled king composing, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I know that there's a God above and all I've ever learned from love is how to shoot at someone who outdrew you. It's not a cry you hear at night. 
right. It's not someone who's seen the light. It's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah. 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 Fuller with a chance to make history and be the first woman in a power five football game. A goalkeeper on the Vanderbilt soccer team, Sarah Fuller, will kick off for Vanderbilt. Ladies and gentlemen, you have witnessed history here at Jerome Field. She can be the first to make an extra point at the power five level. Right through there. Entirely new generation of girls that are going to think they can do more now because of what you've done. I'm Sarah Fuller. I faced a lot of challenges as a goalkeeper on the Vanderbilt University women's soccer team and as a kicker on the football team. But seeing other women break barriers and be the first at what they do inspired me and gave me the strength to succeed. And that's why it is such an honor to introduce a true groundbreaker. And after 232 years of waiting, being able to say these words, our nation's first woman vice president, Vice President Kamala Harris. Ladies and gentlemen, the Vice President of the United States, Kamala D. Harris. Good evening. It is my honor to be here, to stand on the shoulders of those who came before, to speak tonight as your Vice President. In many ways, this moment embodies our character as a nation. It demonstrates who we are. Even in dark times, we not only dream, we do. We not only see what has been, we see what can be. We shoot for the moon, and then we plant our flag on it. We are bold, fearless, and ambitious. We are undaunted in our belief that we shall overcome, that we will rise up. This is American aspiration. In the middle of the Civil War, Abraham Lincoln saw a better future and built it with land-grant colleges and the Transcontinental Railroad. In the middle of the Civil Rights Movement, Dr. King fought for racial justice and economic justice. American aspiration is what drove the women of this nation throughout history to demand equal rights and the authors of the Bill of Rights to claim freedoms that had rarely been written down before. A great experiment takes great determination, the will to do the work, and then the wisdom to keep refining, keep tinkering, keep perfecting. The same determination is being realized in America today. I see it in the scientists who are transforming the future. I see it in the parents who are nurturing generations to come, in the innovators and the educators in everyone, everywhere, who is building a better life for themselves, their families, and their communities. This, too, is American aspiration. 
This is what President Joe Biden has called upon us to summon now. The courage to see beyond crisis, to do what is hard, to do what is good, to unite, to believe in ourselves, believe in our country, believe in what we can do together. Thank you, and may God bless America. And now, John Legend. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. A new life for me. Ooh. And I'm feeling good. Fish in the sea. You know how I feel. River running free. You know how. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. And I'm feeling good. Dragons fly out in the sun. You know what I mean, don't you know? Butterflies are having fun. You know what I mean Sleep in peace when day is done That's what I mean And this old world is a new world And a bold world for me Stars, when you shine You know how I feel Sand all the pine, you know I feel. Oh, freedom is mine. I know how I feel. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new life for me. And I'm feeling. Inspiring stories are coming up on Celebrating America. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is DJ Cassidy, and I'd like to welcome you all to Pass the Mic, inaugural edition. Coming to you live as we celebrate America with President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. Huh. I said the party has just begun. Now today is the start of something new. It's the start of a coming together for the soul of America. So I'm going to pass the mic around the nation to spread love from one home to another. Let the celebration begin. You ready, Ozuna? I'm ready, Cassidy. Let's go. I'm ready, too. Here we go. Bailame como si fuera la última vez y enséñame ese pasito que no sé. Un besito bien suavecito, bebé. Taki taki, hey. taki taki rumba. Bounce to the beat, just bounce to the beat. Bounce. 
bounce to the beat, just bounce. Party people in the place to be, you're rocking with Ozuna and Cassidy. celebration of America continues. During the past year, as the pandemic exploded across the country, our nation's doctors and nurses put their lives on the line, yes, they did, to keep us safe and attend to our ailments. The toll of these weeks of 24-hour shifts was brutal on our medical professionals. They're only human but they found inventive ways to cope with superhuman demands. This crisis has showed the nation we literally couldn't survive without you all. And I mean that sincerely. You've been protecting our communities for months. You're being called on once again as the virus surges across the nation. But I want to thank you for everything you're doing to keep communities safe. It's not hyperbole, you're heroes. I'm Sandra Lindsay, an ICU nurse at Northwell Health in New York, and the first American to officially get the COVID vaccine. Our nurses care for thousands of COVID patients daily. We're often the last people to hold their hands. It has taken a toll on so many of us on the front lines, but I'm proud of our work and honored to represent millions of healthcare workers around the country. And now, from Nashville, here are Tyler Hubbard and Tim McGraw. To Sandra Lindsay and all of our healthcare and frontline workers, thank you. When I was in quarantine with COVID-19, I got to take a good hard look at myself. Inspired by my faith in God to reunite our country, I wrote this song and I sent it to Tim. The song's message of unity and faith stirred my soul. And tonight, especially as we look across the river at our strong, resilient, beautiful city of Nashville. We're honored to sing it for everyone. She 
He really got picked on in school for things he couldn't change. He tried his best to play it cool, but in the seventh grade, you either fit right in or you don't fit. That's just the cold, hard truth. I wish that I'd have been the friend that Billy never knew. I think it's time to come together. You and I can make a change. Maybe we can make a difference, make the world a better place. Look around and love somebody. We've been hateful long enough. Let the good Lord reunite us to this country that we love. Undivided. Yeah. You either go to church or you're gonna go to hell Get a job, work, or you're gonna go to jail I just kinda wish we didn't think like that Why's it gotta be all white or all black? But when we gonna learn to try on someone's shoes sometimes? And when we gonna start to see from someone else's eyes? I think it's time to come together You and I can make a change Presidents Clinton, Bush, and Obama, and we'll be inside the White House for our finale, Celebrating America. Despite the obstacles of the past year, we've seen Americans support each other time and time again. Today's Parade Across America, a virtual roadshow featuring people from across the country, paid a tribute to just some of these American heroes on the front lines of the pandemic, united to celebrate this hopeful day. Hello, America. We are honored to be here today. I want to be here today to make American history again. Let's get united, America. Like America, we come from all over, but really we are one united team. We're united. It's the point of the promise of what to come. Our American spirit allows us to have hope. We all believe that we are better when we unite together. Boom, America born. We salute our commander in chief, Joseph R. Biden, our nation's first woman vice president, Vice President Kamala Harris. It is the honor of our lives. An event that connects and unites Americans. Liberty, equality, and justice for all. All across America. Shine on. No matter who you are or where you're from. Inspire others to change the world. Bring joy and hope. Let's get united, America.
देखा Now it's my honor to introduce three people to offer their reflections on what today meant to them and to our great country. Here are Presidents Bill Clinton, George Bush, and Barack Obama. Well, good evening, America. Obviously, there was a personal element to see my former vice president uh, become the 46th president, uh, to see uh, Kamala Harris as our first woman vice president. Uh, but more broadly, I think inaugurations signal a tradition of a peaceful transfer of power that is over two centuries old. Well, I think uh, the fact that the three of us are standing here talking about a peaceful transfer of power speaks to the uh, in institutional integrity of our country. So this is an unusual thing. We are both trying to come back to normalcy, deal with totally abnormal challenges, and do what we do best, which is try to make a more perfect union. It's an exciting time. We've got to not just listen to folks we agree with, but listen to folks we don't. Uh, and you know, one of my fondest memories of the inauguration was uh, the, the grace and generosity that President Bush showed me and Laura Bush showed Michelle. And it was a reminder that we can have fierce disagreements uh, and yet recognize each other's common humanity and that as Americans uh, we have more in common than what separates us. I think if uh, Americans would uh, love their neighbor like they would like to be loved themselves, uh, a, a lot of the division in our society would end. That's what this means. It's a new beginning. And everybody needs to get off their high horse and reach out to their friends and neighbors and try to make it possible. If in fact, as George said, we're looking for what binds us together. Uh, the American people are strong, they're tough, uh, they can get through hardship, uh, and uh, there's no problem they can't solve uh, when we're working together. I think that was the theme of Joe's inaugural speech, and uh, I think all of us discovered that we're at our best when we're uh, all moving in the same direction. America is a generous country with people with great hearts. All three of us were lucky to be the president of this country. Uh, Mr. President, uh, I'm pulling for your success. Your success is our country's success, and God bless you. I'm glad you're there, and I wish you well. You have spoken for us today. Now you will lead for us, and we're ready to march with you. Good luck. God bless you. Joe, I'm proud of you, uh, and you and Kamala, uh, need to know that you've got all of us here rooting for your success, keeping you in our prayers, uh, and we will be available in any ways that we can as citizens to, uh, to help you guide our country forward. Uh, we wish you Godspeed. <laughs> when our former presidents unite like that, much of the rest of the world must marvel at what America is, at what Americans can do. Well, now we'll celebrate more of America's doctors and nurses as they are joined by our friends and neighbors for a performance of Lovely Day. In Los Angeles, here's Demi Lovato. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Katy Perry. Fireworks in the sky over our nation's capital. January 20th, 2021. This has been a uniquely historic inauguration day. Thanks to all of our performers, friends, and neighbors who celebrated America with us. And once again, congratulations, President Biden and Vice President Harris. Godspeed your efforts. From the Lincoln Memorial, good night, America.